So, good morning, everyone. So, let's have first some quick examples about addition, subtraction, and multiplication of fractions. So, let's have 4 over 8 plus 5 over 12. Take a look of the screen. So, how do we solve this kind of uh, problem? So, first, since they are dissimilar fraction, the given R, 4 over 8 plus 5 over 12. So we have different denominators. So we call that dissimilar fraction. So how do we solve dissimilar fraction? First, so you need to identify the LCD or the least common denominator. How do we solve for uh, least common denominator? We can use continuous division. How? We can solve like this. So 8 and 12. Okay. So 8 and 12 is divisible both by 2. So we're going to write here 2. And then divide 8 divided by 2 is 4. And four, uh, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Since 4 and 6 is still divisible, so we can divide both the numbers into 2. Why do I usually use 2? 2 is the smallest prime number. We always used on the divisor area a prime number. So 2. So this is 3. Now, we're going to multiply all the numbers here on the divisor part and here on the last row. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And that is the LCD of both 8 and 12. So we have 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 3 is 24. So the LCD is 24. Next, just copy the operation. Now, next is you're going to divide the LCD to the first given, divide it to the denominator, then, mul then multiply it to the numerator. So divide here and then multiply here. So 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 4, that is 12. And then 24 divided by 12 is 2 times 5 is 10. And then, since they have the same denominator, they are considered similar fraction, all you have to do is to add the numerator, that is 12 plus 10 is 22, and copy the denominator. It is not our final answer because we need to simplify our answer. So 22. over 24 so we need to lowest term we can divide both sides by 2 so 22 divided by 2 is 11 and 24 divided uh, divided by 2 is 12 so our final answer is 11 over 12 next example what if I have this given? 5 and 4 over 12 minus 5 over 10. So the first thing is we need to solve for the LCD. How? Again, we can use continuous division. So 12, we're going to write here 12, and then 10. Okay. We always use prime numbers. 
as our divisor. So 12 and 10 is both divisible by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay. Next, we have still 6 and 5. But 5 is considered a prime number. Now, we will continue to divide. So we need to divide 6 by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 5 divided by 2 is can't be because there will be a remainder. So if not, we're going to put 5 or bring down 5. And then we're going to multiply 2 times 2, 4 times 3 is 12 times 5 is 60. So we have now an LCD of 60. Okay, next we're going to divide the LCD to the denominator, 60 divided by 12 is 5 times 4 is 20. What will happen to the whole number? There is a whole number on our given. You will just copy it. Next, 60 divided by 10 is 6 times 5 is 30. So we have now 5 and 20 over 60 minus 30 over 60. Okay, there's a question. We can uh, subtract 30 from 20. Okay, in algebra that will have a negative answer. If we encounter this kind of uh, problem, what are we going to do is we need to subtract 1 from the whole number. So it will become 4. And then we're going to have 60 over 60. Why? I copy the denominator 60. And then why I put 60 on the numerator. 60 divided by 60 is considered 1. And then if you add 1 to our whole number 4, that is equivalent to 5. And then we're going to add now 20 over 60. Okay, so let's finalize first this. So for Four, just copy the whole number. 60 plus 20 is 80. And then over 60. Okay. And then we can use this. This, our answer here is equal to our value here. On our minuend. So 40, a uh, 4, sorry. 8 over 60. Minus 30 over 60, just the same. Since the subtrahend doesn't have a whole number, we will copy the whole number for 80 minus 30 is 50. And then over, copy the denominator 60. Okay, now, is this our final answer? Not yet. Why? Because we need to uh, simplify 50 over 60. So the shortcut here is since both zero, so we can cancel the zero. So our final answer is 4 
and five over six. This is our final answer. Okay, next. Let's proceed now to the multiplication. Unlike addition and subtraction, we need uh, we are required, especially when we're dealing with the similar fraction, we are required to find first the LCD. Here in multiplication, we just need to uh, multiply numerator to the numerator and then multiply denominator to denominator. As simply as that. So 4 times 5, that is 20. And then 12 times 10 is 120. Another shortcut here is since there is a zero on the numerator and zero on the denominator, we can cancel that. So we will have 2 over 12. And since 2 over 12 has a lowest term, we can divide both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then 12 divided by 2 is 6. And this is our final answer. Next, another example. What if I have now a whole number? Now, so first, we cannot multiply a mixed fraction to a fraction unless you convert your mixed fraction into a improper fraction. So let's Convert first here. So what are we going to do is we're going to multiply this one, the denominator to the whole number, and then add to the numerator. So 12 times 5 is 60 plus 4 is 64. How about the denominator? What will be the denominator? You just need to copy the denominator. Okay, and then copy, multiply 5 over there. Okay, that's it. And then proceed to the multiplication. Multiply numerator to the numerator and then denominator to the denominator. So 64 times 5, that is 60 times 5 is 300 plus 20 is 320. And then 12 times 10 is 120. Another shortcut here, if there is a zero on the numerator, and then there's a zero on the denominator, you can cancel that. So we have now 32 over 12. Oops. Now, how do we solve now this? So, how do we convert now an improper fraction into a mixed fraction? So we're going to use our long method division. So 32, the numerator will always inside or serves as your dividend and the denominator will be your divisor. So how many 12 are there in 32? There is two. And then two times 12 is 24 then you need to subtract so eight okay this one your whole number here that will serves or your quotient will be your whole number and then your remainder part will be your numerator. And then your divisor part will become your denominator. Okay, that's it. So let's write our answer. So we have now 2 uh, was, uh, as our whole number and then 8. 
and then over 12. But since 8 over 12 has a lowest term, we can divide the numerator and denominator by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then copy the whole number. And that's it. That's our final answer. So, to sum it up, for the addition, for similar fraction, perform the operation. It's either you are going to add or subtract, then copy the denominator. For the dissimilar fraction, dissimilar means they don't have the same denominator. Get first the LCD and then divide the LCD to the denominator. And then multiply it to the numerator. So you can find or you can uh, have an equivalent fraction of your given. And for the multiplication, so simply multiply numerator to the numerator and then multiply denominator to the denominator. If the given is a mixed fraction, first, Make the mixed fraction an improper fraction. So how do we uh, convert mixed fraction into improper fraction? We need to multiply the denominator of your mixed uh, fraction to the whole number and then add the product to the numerator, as simply as that. So that's the end of our another tutorial. Thank you and God bless.